Hey everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to RNG manipulate the Safari Zone in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. And normally the Safari Zone is just a standard wild RNG manipulation. However, these games, it's super weird. So I'll be taking time to explain the differences and stuff you'll need in order to complete the RNG here. So, um, in game, if you want to do this manipulation, you're going to need a... Uh, Pokemon with Sweet Sense. So I've got an Oddish here. You're also going to need at least one chat up with a recorded chatter. As you can see, uh, it makes a noise. Now, a lot of people actually ask, how do you record chat to chatter? You just have to have the move chatter uh, taught, and you can select it like you could fly or strength or something like that. And when you click it, it will ask you to record a noise in the DS's microphone. Um, I usually just say ah into the microphone. I don't use a specific noise. Some people use it like a special Hertz or something. I don't use that. You're also going to need in the Poke Gear to have um, Juggler Irwin registered. He is the juggler right below the bug catching contest hall. Uh, and you should also take note of where your roamers are. So I'll leave it on the screen for a while. You don't need to have any roamers out. Um, I think I still have all three. Yeah, I still have all three going. You don't need to have them out at all or anything like that, but if you do have some of them, uh, you're going to keep note of where they are, and that'll come back later. And then last but not least, you need your secret ID if you're intending to get a shiny this way. If you're not going for a shiny, you don't need your secret ID. Okay, uh, that's all you need in-game. Now, out of game, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need Pokefinder by Admiral Fish. You're going to want to open up the Gen 4 Wild tab. You're also going to need uh, Eon Timer 3.0 by Dylan Meadows. You'll be able to download both of these in the description. Make sure you set it to the 4th Gen tab. Uh, your Calibrated Delay. In Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you can set it probably like 487 or something like that. Thereabouts. Uh, don't touch Calibrated Second or Target Delay or target second just yet now i'm covering how to do this on a original ds um, but you can do this on a 3ds so don't worry about that um, and then you're also going to need to go to pokemon uh, slots uh, it's a google site i will show it now and you're going to go to the safari zone for heart gold and soul silver section and i'll explain what all that means when you get to it okay so once you figure out uh, what Pokemon you want and all the stuff that you have, because the Safari Zone in this game is kind of weird. Um, you have to, like, build it yourself and pick which Pokemon are going to go where. You're going to need to figure that all out on your own. I don't really have the time to explain it in this video, and I don't feel like explaining it because I fully, like, I don't fully understand how constructing the Safari Zone works in this game. However, once you have it assembled with however many plane blocks and stuff like that that you have, you're going to go into Pokefinder and you're going to begin searching for a spread. So we're going to go into Searcher. Ignore method. Leave it as method K. And then you like you can't change the look. I don't think you can change it to uh, Safari Zone at all. So you, it doesn't even matter. You're just going to want to leave it wherever. Um, time of day I also don't think matters for the Safari Zone. Oh, it does matter. So set the time of day accordingly. Um, because that changes the Pokemon that can show up. And you're going to want Grass as the encounter. Now for lead, you have two real options here here's the thing about safari zone safari zone has this feature where it jumps frames like crazy it'll just skip past all of them like a bunch of times and it's kind of hard to figure out why however if you're using cute charm as your lead pokemon it just operates completely normally so <laughs> if you want to bypass it that way go ahead and it'll just be like a normal cute charm rng manipulation um, the other options you can select if you want, uh, but I'm not going to be using any of them. I'm also not going to do more than like a hundred advances for this thing. Okay. So for the rest of the stuff is just the IVs, nature, gender, shininess. So I'm going to pick star or square. The options are any, which means it'll include non shinies, only star shinies, only square shinies and star or square shinies because i don't intend to transfer this pokemon up to sword and shield i don't care if it's a star or a square shiny you can pick the uh, all of this stuff here now the one important thing that matters is and if you're not using cute charm one of these stats has to be 31 
So basically, the Safari Zone RNG, it'll just work normal if you have at least one IV of 31 on the Pokemon. So you can search for whatever. Um, I'm going to be searching in the peak section, and I'm probably going to be going for a little Magnemite. So we'll look for a 31 special attack Magnemite. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at Pokemon slots now, because that's the next thing we need to figure out. So, if you look at Pokemon slots here, it has the different areas, uh, like meadow, forest, mar marsh, etc. Now, if you're not sure what area you're in, you can just look it up on Cerebi or whatever. Um, but I'm going to be in the peak section. And it has all the encounter slots listed, but it's got like block scores and stuff like this. So, you need to pay attention. Like, if you want Magmar, you need, like, or if you want Sfeel, you need 35 water. These are just the default encounter slots up here. So, you can get Geodude or Magnemite or something like that. But then when you have five planes blocks, Lanoon spawns. Stuff like that. 12 planes, uh, stuff like that. I don't really understand how priority works. I think that means five planes outranks 12, but whatever. Um, what's important here is once you figure all out which Pokemon, like, Basically, if you know that you can, like, if you know you've got a Sfeel spawning here, Sfeel is always going to be encounter slot 9. If you know, um, if you have a Slowbro spawning, you know it's going to be slot 8, stuff like that. So, I'll be going for Magnemite, which will be slot 1 or slot 4. I think there's one more. No, slot 1 or 4. Uh, we'll go for 7 as well, because it's Magneton. So we're going to go for encounter slot 1, 4, or 7. So in Pokefinder, we're going to open that up. So now, see, here's a problem. Encounter slots 10 and 11, we can't have them existing. Now, because there's no location with, you know, only 9 encounter slots in the game, I don't, I don't really know what you can do. I don't know what will happen if you aim for encounter slot 10, but basically just pretend like 0 through 9 are all that exist. Um, and once you've got your perimeter set up, you're going to hit search. And you're going to get a bunch of results if you're only searching for a shiny, stuff like that. Oh, actually, I'm going to set my lead to none because I'm not using any of these leads. But again, set your lead to whatever you intend to use. Okay. So, uh, as you can see, there is a lot of options to choose from. I might as well find one that is going to be good. Uh, okay. Okay. So this is only, and you know what, you're going to want slightly higher advances because sometimes these NPCs in this area can move or whatever, uh, and you don't want to screw things up that way. So we'll go for something a little bit of a higher frame, but you can pretty much pick out whatever you want. So let's go like frame 30 or something like that. See if I can't find anything out here. Modest, there we go. Frame 32, modest. It's got 31 defense and 31 special attack. This would be a Magnemite, and it's a square shiny, so that's pretty cool. So you can uh, right-click on the seed and hit Generate Times for Seed. And in the Seed to Time window, in the lower right-hand corner of my screen, uh, the uh, information you need to hit this seed will pop up. Uh, so for the year, change it to whatever you want. Don't change it. It doesn't really matter. I'll change it to current year. For seconds, check that box and type 23 or, you know, whatever you want to do. Now, for the roamer boxes here, here's what you're going to do. You're going to open the pause menu, check your Poke Gear, and you're going to check the roamers right now. So, my Raikou is on 35, Entei is on 31, and Latias is on 19. So, Raikou, 35, Entei, 31, and Latias is 19. Then, you're going to click the Generate button, and it'll change over here. Then hit the second generate button. Pick your result. Uh, you can pick any date and time you want here. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then pick the result and then hit generate. Now at this point, you're going to want to save your game without exiting this pause menu here. Gen 4 saving. Good meme. <laughs> okay. So once everything is all set, you're going to turn your DS off, and you're going to open Eon Timer. So in the Gen 4 tab, the delay, you're going to type your target delay, minus 697. Then your target second, 
uh, is going to be 23. It's whatever you typed in that box in the second box. So I'm going to type 23. And then you're going to change the date and time on your DS. So we're going to be aiming for 630, 2021, and 057, whatever. So 057. Now, take note in Eon Timer, it says minutes before target is 1. So that means this minute here, we should make it 56. Then we're going to start Eon Timer at the same time as we save our clock settings. Now, Eon Timer is going to count down. Uh, Ian Timer is going to count down, and after the first countdown, it is going to, you're going to start the game up, and then you're going to go as fast as you can to the save file select screen. So now I just have to mesh through the intro as quickly as possible. And I'm going to wait on the screen and hit A when the timer ends. Then I'm going to bring up my pause menu as fast as possible. Go into the Poke Gear and check where the, uh, the Pokemon have spawned. So, here's the thing. This, um, uh, it'll tell you the, it should tell you more than one Romer location. I'm actually not sure why it's only telling you, it's only telling me Latias. I have to report that bug, but that's fine. Um, anyway, so it's telling me Latias should be on Route 10 and mine's on Route 9, so that's not a good sign. The next thing we do is hit the Search Calls button. And this new window will pop up over Seed to Time. And you're going to ask for Elm or Erwin. Uh, stick on Erwin. Elm is just... You have to, it's hard to get all his requirements, so I always use Erwin. Oops. So then you're going to go... Oh. I closed it by accident. Uh, so then you're going to go into the phone, and you're going to call Juggler Erwin. I'm going to record his results. So glad you called. That's K. So it just has whatever he's supposed to say here. So glad you called. That's another K. How are you? That's P. Uh, hearing about your escapades is E. So as you can see, the possible results is lower and down. Uh, okay, that's P. Five. We got your escapades, it's E. Right, so, so we got one result and hit OK. And then it'll automatically highlight uh, what result you've gotten. So, I was one away um, because I was aiming for... If you recall, I was aiming for the one above it. Um, 697 was my target delay. Um, and I hit 698. Now, how do you fix this? Well, it's actually really simple. I'm just going to software shit to show you the way to fix this. That took a really long time to soft reset. <laughs> so basically, if you scroll all the way down here and then scroll all the way back up, it'll go from an even delay like this to an odd one. So we're going to try again. So I was only one. I was like, um, you cannot hit. If you hit an even delay, you cannot hit an odd delay without doing something different. So that means I wasn't even one off. Like I was basically on my target. So I'm just going to try everything again. Oops, the date is fine. The time, 056, and we're going to start. 
So at this point, I'm going to pause. Uh, because you don't need to see the whole thing repeat itself again. Alright, so once you've done it the second attempt, uh, check the roamer locations. Route 10, that's a good sign. So all that's to do is call Erwin. And let's see. Sometimes I don't even like to click the search call button. And I just like to look at the, the chart here. Oh. So it should be K. Which is, I'm so glad you called. It should be another K. And then it should be a P. And that's going to be enough <laughs> validation for me. No, that's KKE. Oh no, whoops. This is the one we're aiming for. So yeah, KKE. That's really good. So we're probably on the target seed. So when you're close, uh, you're ready to enter. Okay. So you're going to want to hit B and go into the safari zone as quickly as possible. Now there is a chance that some frames advance and stuff like that. Uh, but you're going to want to run into the grass and pause as soon as you can. Then you're going to want to go into Pokemon and you're going to hover over the chat. Eye. Then we're going to set up the rest of the thing in Pokefine. So, in Gen 4 Wild, you're going to copy the seed you aimed for, go to Generator, and make sure all the settings like for this RNG info are the same. So, synchronize... Uh, yeah, leave it on synchronize none. Paste your seed there. Leave all of this stuff and hit generate. Now, see, as you can see on frame 32, I've got a square. Now, by having roamers, your advances are already going to be up at three. One, two, three, right? Then, uh, what I did three phone calls, one, two, three. So I'm probably on frame six or seven or something like that. This is telling you the pitch in the chat out column of what your chat out is going to sound like. So we're going to listen to the chat out now. That was mid. That was high. That was less high. That was high. Oops. I keep forgetting where chat out is. See, that was really low, so low 10 makes sense. Mid high. That was the lowest possible. And so we want to do this until we're on the pitch before our shiny frame. And so you can see I'm on frame 31 now, or advanced 31. Still not used to the name change, although I think it is better. Then you're going to get out of here, and you're going to sweet scent. Uh, I messed up my encounter slot, which is fine, but as you can see, the RNG worked. The encounter slot mess up, uh, and this is going to be modest if I'm able to catch it, but the encounter slot mess up is because I don't fully understand what the what the heck's going on with the um, what's going on with the encounter slots in this area, and there's no real way to super easily figure it out. You're going to kind of have to figure out the encounter slots yourself. So, like, I aimed for encounter slot 2. This was a Geo dude. so... Uh, oh, no, I aimed for the wrong encounter slot, that's why. <laughs> I did it I did it myself. Oh, I've made a, I made a blunder. Oh, no, is encounter slot 3? Yeah, encounter slot... Oh, encounter slot 3 is a Geo dude. Oh, what a blunder. Oh, because, you know what, I never checked off the encounter slots. See, this is a simple mistake. I do this kind of stuff all the time, and you should learn from it. Basically... I was supposed to check off which encounter slots I wanted here, and I didn't, and I forgot that I didn't. And so then I just picked this one. Geodude is encounter slot 3 if you take a look on Pokemon slots. So nothing happened wrong, actually. Uh, that seemed to behave predictably. 
Oops. Uh, but if we check this Geodude, it's going to be modest. Yep, and it's probably got perfect defense and perfect special attack, which isn't great for a Geodude, but whatever, that's fine. Uh, so, yeah, don't forget to do that. <laughs> um, but uh, this is how you RNG manipulate in the Safari Zone. Um, I don't really have anything else to add. Um, yeah, uh, I messed up the encounter slot, but I don't think that's a big, you know, hindrance on the tutorial or anything like that. Um, that was just a simple, simple mistake. Uh, and also, no, yeah, that's it. I don't got anything else to say. Uh, if this was helpful for you guys, um, let me know. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And uh, consider joining my Discord, becoming a channel member, and uh, checking me out on Twitch. That's uh, and Twitter. So I'm twitter.com slash I'm underscore A underscore Blissy. And uh, twitch.tv slash I'm a Blissy underscore RNG. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.